Hey, what's good YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another video. Uh, this one here is another PSA. This is another regular submission, so it's $50 a card. Um, to be honest, after I was going through and looking at these, I don't know what I was thinking as far as signing up for these. Um, for the $50 a card, but I wanted to get some a lot of submissions in before the price increase took effect. So this is um, this was put in on the 26th or 27th of February. And um, I tried to pick like the last of the the best cards that I, I think I might have or that might get, you know, a few hundred bucks if they get a PSA 9 or a 10. So this is what I got um, for this submission. There's 18 total cards. And uh, we'll start out with the Dennis Rodman, uh, Rockstars, Tops. Um, kind of refractor type card. Um, so this is from 1997. Um, I did a thing where I went through and cleaned all these up and looked really closely at them. So I got kind of like what I think it's going to be for a grade. I'm thinking this is going to be like an 8.5-ish. Um, and reason why there's a line that goes across, like a print line that goes across the uh, the face side. You can't really see it when it's behind plastic. Um, it's pretty faint, but it is in there. And um, I'm sure that's going to knock it down at least one grade. So I don't know if it's gonna get a nine. Um, I, there's also kind of, you know, a lot of these die cut crevices and things like that have a little fiber pull and things of that nature so i tried to clean it up as best i could um everything else looks great on it you know all the corners down here look good um following it all the way along it looks really clean except for a couple little spots so i just don't want to screw screw up too bad by trying to clean it better but i don't know it's a cool looking card dennis robbins one of my favorite players of all time and uh want to get it slabbed up so it's a really pretty card. Uh, next one here is uh, Michael Jordan. This is when he was with the Wizards. This is Topps Chrome. It is not a refractor. It's just a regular base. Um, everything looks really, really good on it. Um, all the edges and everything. There was a couple little like uh, lines in the surface. Like not really scratches, but like a some sort of manufacturing line up and down the face here a little bit. Um, so I think it's probably going to get a nine. Everything else looks pretty much perfect on it, centering off just a hair, but I think it's a nine or maybe an eight point five. Uh, next is Michael Jordan, this 1996 medal. Um, there's a small white speck on the top left corner that you can see. Uh, other than that, it's pretty clean. All the edges, corners look pretty crisp. So, you know, the magnifying glass I'm using is a, it's a 30X, I think, so... I don't know if you can, if I can get the, for you to see this. But yeah, it's just a little white corner. It's not bad, but it's there. So I don't know how bad that's going to affect the grade. Um, I think this is the last of the metal Jordans I had. I had like nine of them back when I was actually collecting. So they're all ones that I pulled from packs. I sent a bunch to SGC when I first started kind of getting back into the hobby and did pretty well. I got a couple tens, some nine fives, things like that, but they didn't sell for much because it was, it was SGC. Um, so I'm thinking a 10, maybe a nine if that corner affects it. Uh, next is 1992 Topps Archive, Jordan. Um, I'm thinking this one gets a nine. It's got lines on the back coming down this way. 
or actually they're going like this. So they're like not print lines, but they're manufacturing lines from the process somewhere. So. Otherwise, looks pretty good. Might be off centered, push this way a little bit, but for the most part, looks pretty, pretty nice. So nine, I'm guessing, hopefully it gets a nine. Um, next one is a 1992 Stadium Club, Jordan. Um, the edges, there's white spots kind of, you know, going across the top a little bit. Actually, not really the top, but on the side. For the most part, it looks pretty good. Um, corners white on the bottom right. Um, otherwise, it's a pretty clean looking card, you know, for considering um, all the print, you know, the color goes right to the edge. The back looked pretty good. Um, no issues on the back. Like even the corners are are good. So I'm thinking this is a, a nine, hopefully. Everything looks really good on it. It's, a, it's just an awesome picture too. Uh, next one here is a Magic versus Jordan, Lakers, Bulls. Um, this is a, hopefully a 10. It's pretty clean. No scratches, edges, corners, centering looks really good. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm getting this graded for 50 bucks. I mean, you could have bought these cards for like two bucks a piece last year, but there's some of these things are selling out for like three, four hundred dollars if they get a 10. Um, I'm thinking it might get a, a nine because it's got some white corners, top left and bottom left. Um, little specks on them, but we'll, it's centered really well going by, going by these red bars on the top and bottom. Looks pretty good. The back looks great. So we shall see what comes out of that one. Uh, 91 Skybox. This one's a 10, I think. There's nothing wrong with it at all. John Stockton, All-Star, 1998 Fleer. I'm um, thinking it's got a nine, sh shot at a nine. It's got two uh, print bubbles on the face of it, like little circles, one right there, one down here. And on the top, it's got some white going across the top there a little bit. So I'm thinking it's, uh, it looks pretty good. Otherwise, centering wise, it's pushed over a little bit, but I think it's close enough for a nine. So I think that's what this one's gonna get. Uh, next one, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 1988 Fleer. This one's centered pretty much perfectly. Um, the right side, it's got some white on the edge right there, that little spot. That's pretty much about it that's wrong with this thing. So I'm thinking uh, nine on it. Charles Barkley, 88 Fleer. Um, it's it's off-centered a hair, you know, top to bottom. And, but I think it's gonna be okay for like that 60-40. So I'm looking at this, it's got a three on top and almost a three on the bottom. So I mean, it's really, really, really close to being perfectly centered. Um, that's about it, that's what with this thing. All the edges look really clean, uh, corners look great. So I'm thinking this thing gets a 10. And if not, it's because of the centering, but man, it's so close. We'll see. Uh, Scotty Pippen, uh, this one here, I'm thinking it's, it might get an eight just because of the, the black. You can kind of see some of the little white specks in here. Uh, there's a couple little yellow print bubbles on top that you can see. Uh, Center wise, pushed up a little bit, otherwise it looks pretty good. The back's off centered, it's got a white circle there. So I'm thinking an eight. If it gets better than that, great, but um, 
probably get a couple hundred bucks for the burn eight right now. Uh, Jordan 88 Fleer. This thing is centered pretty poorly. Um, it's got a yellow print bubbles right there. Um, otherwise, the edges look good. The corners look good. It's just off-centered pretty badly. Um, you can definitely tell on the back, too. So, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking an 8 on this as well. But, overall, just want to get it. Get some of these older ones slabbed up. Jordan 88 All-Star Fleer. Off-centered, for sure. So it's pushed up and it's pushed to the left. Um, it's got some yellow print bubbles on it. No, it doesn't. Hang on. Eight. I'm thinking an eight off centered and the back top. It's got some white stuff there. So other than that, it looks pretty good. Corners, edges, everything. One little white spot there, but I don't know. It still looks really nice. Eight, maybe an eight five. I don't know. Um, so we got a starting lineup, 1988 Jordan. Um, this is one, it's off-centered a little bit, pushed to the right, a hair. Uh, it's got a corner issue where it looks like there's like a line, like it might have got bent at one time, but it's really hard to see. It's just got like a white line going through it. Um, it might be just a scratch. From what I can tell, it's just like a scratch or a rub or something on it. it. Doesn't look bent over. The actual corner looks really sharp. It's just that one little line on it. Um, and then this side has got like a little bit of a darker, dirty type of corner on it. I don't know. I can see if I can clean it up a little bit more, but that's pretty much it um, with this one. Um, based on these two things. You know, I don't know, seven, eight. And next one here is a Jordan starting lineup. Yellow border from 1990. Um, I'm thinking this one here is a seven as well. It's pretty much the corners on, on all the way around are kind of got some little white spots on it. But these, again, are, are selling for quite a bit, even in the lower grades. Um, it's off-center, too, so. But I just want to get them graded. Next one is the Brown Border 1990. This one looks pretty good. Um, a couple of the corners are a little suspect. It's off-center just a little bit. You can tell by the border. So I'm thinking this one gets like an 8. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. And last one here, we have uh, 88 Fleer, Dennis Rodman. Um, centering looks really, really nice on it. It's got a scratch line um, on the right edge here that, that goes across. It's like right there. That's pretty much all that's wrong with this thing. So considering that's on the face side, uh, I'm thinking it's an 8.5 8 or, or a 9, hopefully. If it's a 9, it's a $600 card. So that would be pretty sweet. Um, 8.5s, I think, are creeping up into that $200 area. So even that um, wouldn't be bad. So, but... Yep, so that's what we got for this submission. Um, again, I was just trying to find some cards to send off before the price increases went into effect. So should I be spending 50 bucks a card for some of these? Probably not. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of vintage stuff in here that even if it doesn't get a 9 or a 10, it's still going to be worth some decent money for a return. So um, that's what I'm just looking for is... You know, some most of them eight and nines. You know, there's a couple tens hopefully scattered in there, but we'll see what happens. Um, pretty much everything out of here, except for maybe this one. It's probably going to get sold as soon as I get it back, for the most part, potentially. So, 
Thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a thumbs up, like the video, and then hit the bell for notifications for new content when it's put out. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.